Hi student, recently I have found a easiest methods to find Q1 and Q3 means the first quarter and, and the third quarter and then so I decided to make a video to share to you how to find the first quarter and the third quarter because last time I when I want to do the Q1 right I will always do the uh, what's a uh, 1 over 4 n th or I will do the 1 over 4 m plus 1 th and then I realized the problem of this uh, this method is sometimes you will get something like 0 0.25 0 0.75 and so eventually I find out an easiest method to actually get Q1 and Q3 so I can't wait to share these methods to all of you so this is the reason why I make this video all right so okay this is how this method works so first thing is you want to find the median value first which is the middle value uh, this one i guess a lot of students know how to do so base basically you will just uh, median normally we call q2 okay we call q2 so basically what we do is half m plus one th term if you love term i will add a term here so basically i need to calculate how many number i have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So my n is just 11. So be 11 plus 1 th. So th mean is the which term of, of it. So this is 12 over 2. So which is the sixth term here. So therefore, I calculate where is my sixth number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my sixth number is basically 10. So my median value is 10. All right. So this is what I will do for my first quarter or you can call it as Q1. Okay. Okay, how how I do the Q1 is okay, if this one is a Q2 which is the median value, we calculate from the number before it. We calculate how many number we have it here and then we divide it into the half here. So how many number do we have here? So and then we divide. Actually, it's quite similar to the me median method. So it's half. I will do m plus one th as, as well. So in these cases over here, my n value over here is the number uh, for my white bracket, uh, white rectangle here. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. So my n will be just. 5 here so it's just 5 plus 1 th so this is 6 over 2 which is third number will be my q1 so what is where's my third number 1 2 3 so this number will be my q1 so which is 5 okay but for the third quarter uh for the third quarter is slightly complicated but then actually if you understand then it should be still okay which is my q3 here yeah, I will still do the similar something like half m plus one, but in the end here, um, is not m plus one, <laughs> right? So what I will do over here is because my Q three must located from here, right? So this number, this number will will be the number after your median. So let's say my median is six over here, right? This is my median, is six over here. What is the number next to six? So it will be the seven number. So it will be 7. And then plus, what is the last number here will be the last number in your group. So because this group over here, the last number here is the 11 number, right? So this one will be my 11. So yeah, this is what I will do here. So yeah, maybe I don't write so many th here. Some students just get confused. So like 7 plus the 11, yeah, maybe I add a th at the backs. All right, I do a th here. So I have 18 th. So therefore, it's my nine number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it will be 20. Yeah, so I find this method actually is quite useful because you can always get the uh, integer rather than decimal so eventually they ask you to find an interquartile range right so the interquartile range basically use the q3 minus q1 so basically 20 minus 5 so i get 15 this is my interquartile range yeah this video is just 
quite short. So, but I hope this method can apply on any other cases. So, example, let's say your me median number is the twenty fifth number. Then this number is just changed to twenty six. Mean the number next to it, and then you want to see what is your last number. Let's say your last number is fifty. Then you just write twenty six plus fifty divided by two. Yeah, if you get point five, you understand. If you get point five, basically you take the number between them, right? If example, uh, this is just something extra. So let's say today, if I get five point five here, that's mean I will need to take my fifth number plus my sixth number divided by two. Okay, this is what happen when you do the point five. Okay, this is just an example, not related to this question. All right, uh, this one is six. I write it back. So, anyways, I hope this short video can. Help you understand better about how to find the first quarter and third quarter, and I just find this method is quite good, so I decided to make this video. I hope you learned something from this video. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.